Hey guys, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to build your first engine install mux. So let's get to it. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to find my engines just by searching. And I'm just going to go with the small engine. that. Uh, and we have a few connections here. All the connections I'm going to be making with pipe blocks here. There are many to suit your situation. And we also have enclosed blocks as well, which will actually, if I turn on direction arrows, you can see they are a solid block, which will get to where those are useful in a minute. But to start uh, looking at the engine here, we have coolant, fuel, air, exhaust, uh, again coolant, and rotations or the power output. And these all have to be supplied with their respective sources so what we can use for coolant is um, really up to you but i'm going to go over basic loop through a radiator here and you'll notice that the radiator has two connections also and we also have in and out coolant as well as fluid a and fluid b it does not matter which way these connect there's no specific order for flow direction so we can simply just drag those like that and I'm going to paint my coolant in a nice blue just so it's easier to see next up I'm gonna be looking at the exhaust and um, this is where our blocked pipes come in as exhaust has to come out into the open atmosphere and say if you're um, running your engine inside a boat um, where you need a seal for buoyancy using a a solid block pipe will allow the connection to go through and out into the open. So you could use a fluid port straight on there um, for the exhaust to come out or you could use a fluid exhaust piece and we'll give that a nice dark paint color there. Okay next up is fuel and fuel can be done simply with a tank could use a custom water tank though I'm not going to get into those this video again we are just connecting up the nodes on here to our engine directly with pipes and a little thing on fuel tanks if you're using those specifically we can change if we want jet fuel or water even and we can also change the fuel level on these and finally for our inputs we have air and again with exhaust this one is going to have to come through a straight block into the open atmosphere. There are more than two intakes here. We have an air filter, an air ram, a scoop intake, a fluid intake, and a fluid port again. All of these can be used to intake air, though the air scoop has better intake at higher speeds. Uh, other than that, all of these are pretty much the same. And finally, getting on to our output. So this is the, the power of the engine, where it is going. And again, you use pipes for these. There is no specific like drive train blocks or nothing, just pipes. And we can send that to say a propeller, like that small propeller. And you'll notice on the back of this, it has the orange power connector. Okay, now we have our engine completely set up, but we don't have a way to control it. So let's get with that. So up in the logic section up here, we have a few connections that we can make. We have the starter and the throttle for the engine, and we also have some uh, information outputs. Our throttle takes a number from 0 to 1, 1 being full throttle, 0 being completely off. We basically have to send a number to that, and you could use any way you like, keypad, something. But I'm going to be using a throttle lever here, and in the selector once again. Conveniently, it has a max value of one and a minimum of zero, just as you place it down. So that's perfect. I'm simply going to wire that straight to our throttle. To activate the starter on our engine, we're gonna be using a push button because these have on off values, which are the reds. We can just hold it and it'll crank. Could use a toggle switch, though I recommend after your engine has started up, that you actually toggle it off, otherwise you'll be draining um, your electricity um, with the ignition. This next bit is optional, but we're gonna connect up the um, separate 
outputs from our engine. So we have temperature, rotations per second, and the fuel level or tank content. I'm going to connect these just to some uh, dials here. And I recommend at this stage that you come into your select tool and you actually give all your controls names so you know exactly what they're doing. So we have throttle. Okay, nice. So the last thing we need is electricity to power um, all our systems and the engine. So I'm going to search for a simple small battery and we're going to come into our logic once again, but on the left here, we're going to go down to electric and we are simply going to connect these. You could connect them in like a series pattern like I'm doing, or you could do them all to the battery. If you hold control, you can click really fast to all of them. Um, this will run fine, though it won't, won't run forever as our battery will drain. This is because we have no sort of energy input. We have no way of charging our battery. So I'm gonna come in, I'm actually gonna change my power system here. I'm gonna get a generator. There are again three sizes up to large. I'm just gonna go with the small, that should be enough. And the rotations of our engine will actually generate some electricity for us. So I'm gonna get that on the battery as well. And uh, well, let's test it. Okay, so here's our engine. And what I'm gonna do is give it a little bit of juice. As you can see, our dials are all wired up. And uh, we'll hold the start button. And there we go. Got some revs here. Our temperature is going up, but it will be stabilized eventually by our radiator. And our fuel is going down, and we've got some uh, constant 20. So as it is, the engines are locked at 20 rotations. So you can come in with the select tool and increase up to 100. And the more rotations our engine is spitting out, the higher the temperature is going to go and we get an engine that has stopped working and will blow up. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned a lot and uh, I wish you the best of luck creating your vehicles and uh, well yeah, thanks for watching and uh, catch you later.